Don't know if you know if the rebels ever found a way to actually be heard, they could do a lot of good for abundance. But that's not gonna happen today. And if you team up with them, doors are gonna close real quick in your face. The army's afraid of them. So I doubt your captain's gonna want to help you anymore if you're working with them. I don't know. Hello there, Zachariah. What do I owe the pleasure? Well, now that you're asking, with Victor and the ASC after me, my only options are to keep running or retaliate. To retaliate, though, I need some allies. I know you're right. No, it's a worthy war you'll wage. Now I owe you. But I can't risk joining with you, Zachariah. Don't know you well enough to trust you with my life. Or the lives of my men. I am sorry. And, despite all that, I wish you the best. Wish you success. For our sake, and yours. No hard feelings. Had to ask. Goodbye. Hey. Hey. Over here.
Someone sounds excited. Well, duh, the landscape's drop-dead gorgeous. As for the city, integrating with the valley's natural overhangs and alcoves to avoid using a metal dome, you're a genius. It makes me worry about getting fried. And we'll always be strangers there. For now, most mutants don't have an innate hatred for humans. We just need to give them time to heal. Still, we'll never be able to walk a mile in their shoes. And for that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. This city makes me sad. You're not gonna cry, are ya? I just had these seats cloned. I mean, I think I would have liked to, you know, know before. It's all right. Sad is too grand to use. Wistful, yes, wistful. By Jove, I've done it. I'm pleased Scum was chosen. He has already proven. Now that we are at full strength, we must devise a way to compromise Victor's popularity at the assembly. I've got a lead. There's this grizzled old general who's been bitching about the lack of info he gets about Aurora. Right now, he's the only one with the balls to call Victor the dictator incompetent. According to him, the Aurora dowsers down Shit Creek and may have been booted off his post. If we can prove that General is right and isn't just some senile old man. Maybe the army's head honchos will be pissed enough at the colonel to kick his buns in the sun. Well, we would need hard evidence. I'm almost positive that Dandolo can help us. Noctis sends merchants everywhere, after all. We also have some connections with Technomancers over there. They should be able to tell us what happened. We could try Anton. Aurora's a little far, but there's no place that's safe from Anton's little birds. It's a start. Even if abundance is run from the top down, members of the assembly would pay attention to uprisings. Some of your local allies could help you stir up some anger in the masses. The ASC has made their lives miserable for months. People are arrested on a whisper, live huddled in fear. It would not take much to spark the powder keg. It's a good idea, but we can't influence entire populations by ourselves. We'd need allies hidden among the people. Back when I was an artist, I got into some altercations with assembly members who thought my shows were blasphemy. Maybe it was because I didn't say hail to the shadow 50 times. I can't say for sure, but if we could get them to think that Victor isn't a devout believer, we could get the large religious sect of the assembly to revoke their support and demand his banishment. Or we could just give them a little nudge in the right direction by making them believe Victor steals relics for his own use. We'd have to stage an elaborate setup, but I like it. After all, the trickster must get what he gives. We'll need volunteers that could pretend to be ASC. The plan is right up Anton's alley. It's possible for Dandolo or the opposition to help us out too. One last thing. I was told the High Judge endorses all of Victor's decisions, even though I know for a fact that he hates him. Which is more than a bit strange. The Judge is such an honest man. Or if you're in the mood to make a scandal, I've got everything we need. Did you know that Victor employs young women to worm out information on men he keeps tabs on? And I'm not Victor, but I have a feeling he used that info to blackmail these same men. If we can prove it, the Assembly would have a major meltdown. Their beloved colonel, a pimp. To find evidence of his trafficking, we could look for the orders he gave his goons. Have you seen his hands? Far too immaculate to be doing this dirty work himself. The Vori aren't doing anything about it. They must be profiting from it somehow. This is a dead end. We need to find a new approach. Indeed. How's this? I've heard that a small faction of the Assembly blindly backs up Victor, no matter how crazy the project is. 
so I believe it almost certain that their chief of this faction was bribed. So unless we bribe him ourselves, we'll have to silence him. It's not ideal, but I have no way of finding out what dirt the ASC has on that man. We'll have to go without his support and hope we can get enough voters elsewhere. All these ideas will indeed cut off Victor from his support network. But This is going to sound self-interested, but if we could help the mutants escape from the pen, it would expedite the Colonel's downfall. The people and the Assembly would be outraged to know that after decades of civilized control, Victor was the one who couldn't keep them in check. I'd like to see the Colonel try to justify his mistake of so many slaves, particularly ones notorious for their feeble minds. No, it's not selfish. It's a good plan. We're gonna help mutants in the pen prepare their escape. After a mass breakout like that, his reputation will never be the same. Thank you, all of you, for the ideas. Now let's make them happen. Zachariah, I've received a message from Dandolo. He has some information on the disappearance of patients. Really? Did he learn where he was taken? The ASC had him locked up in an old dome near Ophir. In his message, he says that it's a dome that Technomancers used to use. Does this sound familiar to you? Hard to forget. Yes. That's where initiations would take place before a mantis destroyed everything. We'll have to go free him. The place must be teeming with soldiers fighting for Victor. But we can't leave the old Technomancer in their hands. 